Today we're going to be looking at a new product from Digital Photo. This is the GC60 Torch LED light. This comes in a daylight version, the GC60D5, and also it comes in a bicolor version, the GC60X5. We're going to be looking at the bicolor version today, so let's go ahead and unbox it. What's in the box? You get a GC60X5, a reflector, a charging cable, an instruction manual, and a storage bag. The GC60X5 has an adjustable color temperature from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin and a lux reading of 2537. The GC60D5 has a lux reading of 2765. When the battery is higher than 50%, it can be overclocked to 150%, which is equivalent to 90 watts, and it will give you a lux reading of 3698. The GC60 has a 95 plus CRI and a 96 plus TLCI, so it's comparable to all the other 60 watt lights on the market. This front mount is unique. You can use the included reflector or you can convert it to a Bowens mount. There are two things that really stood out to me about this light. Number one, the size. This is literally the size of a water bottle. Number two, this has a built-in 142 watt hour battery that can last for about two hours at full power. The lights that I'm currently using, I power them with extremely big and bulky and heavy V-mount batteries, so it can be a pain in the butt on the wedding day. You can also carry these lights on an airplane, which is a plus when you look at the size and power of them. You can charge them with a fast 100 watt charger. It takes about two hours to fully charge them, and you can also use them while you're charging, so that's a plus. You can also power other devices with this light. This light is rainproof, but the USB-C connector on the back is not, so it does come with this little rubber USB-C plug that I would definitely make sure you keep that in there if you are shooting in the rain. And I might would also put a little bit of gaff tape over this just to protect it to make sure that USB-C connection doesn't get any water on it. So when you first get it, you're gonna just touch it to activate it. You're gonna keep turning this counterclockwise until this green little bar gets all the way to the end and that's gonna turn the light on. So to adjust the brightness, you're just gonna turn this counterclockwise. Now, if you just spin it, it's gonna go in increments of 10. If you just turn it slow, it's gonna do increments of one. As you see, this is a pretty bright light. To turn it down, you're just gonna go counterclockwise. So this is a bicolor light. So what you're gonna do to change the bicolor settings, you're gonna spin it and hold it. That's gonna activate the color temperature. And now you can adjust the color temperature. And this goes from 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. This light also has six lighting effects. So to get into your effects, you're gonna spin it back counterclockwise and then hold it. Your effects is gonna come up. So you got your constant light mode, you have the flashing mode, you have the lighting mode, you have the bad TV, the bad bulb, and you have SOS. To turn the light off, you're gonna keep turning this counterclockwise until this green progress bar is completely full. And now that's gonna be in transport mode. Make sure you guys drop a comment below if you have any questions about this light and leave some comments. Let me know what your thoughts is on this light. Will you be picking it up? Are you intrigued by it? Just uh, drop a comment below.